Hi there, my name is Dr. Jay Brightler with New Leaf Chiropractic and Family Wellness in Longmont and joining me here today. I'm Larissa. Hi Larissa. So what we want to talk to you a little bit about today is the dreaded thoracic hump. If you've ever seen people who are in their later years in their life, frequently you'll see them walking around with a cane or something and starting to do one of these numbers with their back. So we want to talk a little bit about that, but first of all we want to talk about forward head posture. Um, Frequently, when someone has forward head posture, you'll see somebody who looks like that. Give, give us a side view. Like this. Like that. Or like this. Or like that. And so we get the question frequently, what can I do about it? How do I, how do I get to a place where I don't have to worry about carrying my head? There's a couple of things that are really basic and easy for you to do. One is to give yourself a double chin. So if you're <laughs> I, it's not sexy, we <laughs> didn't say it was. But if you're working with your partner um, and, and it's hard to get that back, you can, you can say, watch out for my finger and don't let my finger touch your chin. And it, it's, it's, it's actually a really good stimulus. Don't let my finger touch your chin. Or you're, some people are really freaked out with their lips. It's like, oh God, stay away from me. Um, and then when you get there, hold that for 10, 15, 20 seconds, as long as you can. So you're really looking for that double chin, and you can do it yourself also. You can just kind of follow it in. But I've, we find frequently that's better if you've got somebody who can help you with that. Um, other things that can, that can help you, frankly, just putting your hands behind your head and just pushing back. Um, it just looks like I'm just holding my hands behind my head. But, um, or you can, with your, with your partner or spouse, just push back against my head. And that's probably a little bit better way, and the reason why is Go ahead and push back again, Larissa. Because you can, you can bring your hand back further. Bring your hand back to my head. Yeah, and so as part of that process, you can actually see that her posture, that thoracic hump, is starting to maybe go away also. So those are two of the most basic things you can do for forward head posture. Anything else that you've heard or want to talk I've about? I've heard about doing that against car seat headrest. Car seat headrest. Yeah, so maybe that goes back to when or when can you do this? Mm -hmm. I mean, we're on a car every day, right? So. Uh, absolutely, you can do it in the car. So what about the thoracic hump? Um, I'm gonna go against the wall here, if you can move the camera. Mm -hmm. And the, the, most basic, the bi most basic thing that you can do for the thoracic hump, and again, we're talking about this type of stuff, right? You just go over the wall, and what you're trying to do is just push your shoulder blades all the way against the back of the wall, and the other piece, there's two pieces, it, it's your shoulders against the back of the wall, but also your lumbar spine, so you're trying to get all of your back against the wall, including your heels. So you can't see my heels, but if you have your heels way out here, it's really easy to do. So heels, lumbar spine, back of the spine against the wall, and then the last two pieces, your elbows and your wrists if you can. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I actually feel that stretch through the midsection also. But if you can do these, my wife calls them wall angels. You can kind of go up like this, and you can come back down, and you can go up and then down. But if you find yourself pushing back like this, that's cheating, that does not count. So you've gotta get that lumbar spine, heels against the back of the wall also. So those are two of the easiest things. The last things you can do, is if you're on our, on our website, click on stretches, there's something for foam rolling. Let me just, I'll give you a two second tutorial. Foam roller. Just going ahead and taking this, I recommend not against the wall, but against the floor. I do go into detail on it. Uh, on our website, but you're, if this is the floor, you're looking at doing that, that's a great, 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 great exercise for getting out of this place and back into here. Any other thoughts on that, Larissa? Did I miss anything? I don't think so. Okay, the dreaded thoracic hump, the quasi-dreaded anterior head shift forward. Double chin against the wall. While you're driving, you can do both of those while you're driving. All, well, I guess you can't do much of the thoracic stuff again when you're driving, but certainly against the headrest when you're driving. Thanks for joining us today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know if you have any questions. Have a great day.